given that data analysis and visualization go hand in hand and uh, data visualization is a graphical representation of summarized data and you know that representation is what we actually look at to show us the comparison that we need for analysis what then is the logic for visualizing data summary so the first thing we we'll always want to do is to categorize every data field or data column as being either a categorical field or a quantitative field and the rule is very simple if the column has numbers that's numbers that represent some form of measurements then we are going to classify it as quantitative otherwise it's going to be classified as categorical okay so that rule is very simple if the column has numbers that represent measurements it is quantitative otherwise it is categorical so by measurement what i simply mean is unit of measurement you know like money like counting of things like kilogram like number of days and so on and so forth but you know other kind of numbers are also available like phone numbers which is not used for any measurement or postal code which is not used for any measurement account number is not used for measurement they are basically just identifier so they will be those kind of numbers will be categorized as um categorical isn't it so that's the first thing you have to consider you first of all want to take a look at your data and you want to categorize every single field or every single column as either categorical or quantitative now the visuals or uh, our charts basically are going to be used to plot the quantitative summaries against the categories of data that we have so for example if you have two fields in your data set and one field represents categorical information the other field represents quantitative information what you are going to use to visualize is summarizing those categorical information by the quantities right and you will get to understand this better once we get into power bi so one thing you want to understand is that numbers by themselves are kind of like useless they don't tell you a whole lot if you just look at numbers except you try to pitch them against something that describes them isn't it so in the sense of data looking at numbers alone will not make a lot of sense to you at the same time looking at text alone like this categorical information now doesn't make a lot of sense this only makes sense when you have the two of them side by side so we use the numbers to measure something against the categories and that's the whole idea of visualization because at the end of the day you are going to want to summarize what is the total sales for toyota so you pick all the toyota that you have here and you summarize it into one single toyota that gives you the total for all toyota that's the essence of the summary that we are talking about here so the idea is you are going to look at every data category you have and you categorize them as either quantitative or categorical so if we have something like this for example you will look at each field brand clearing amount type of vehicle uh the sales amounts and you pick them one by one and you try to say okay the brand i think this is a categorical information because it doesn't contain measurement or unit of measurement clearing is quantitative because it contains unit of measurement which is basically money these are charges then the type of vehicle whether new or used is also categorical while sales amount is also quantitative so once you have this kind of categorization it becomes easy for you to know how to visualize because your visuals now is always going to be one categorical field against a quantitative field so for example i may want to find out what's the total sales i have made by the type of car so i'll say for my new cars i made a sale of two million for my used cars i made a sale of uh, maybe three million right so that is that's a categorical field against a quantitative field i could also do total sales by brand right the sales quantitative the brand categorical but wait a minute what if this is all you have for data you have two fields and both of them are categorical 
Does that mean there is no way for us to summarize this data? The truth of the matter is you may not have a quantitative field in your data, but the element of counting also serves as a quantitative value that you can use against a category. So for example, I may want to try to find out the total number of new Toyota cars or the total number of used Honda cars. That's me basically using the type column as a count. So all I'm using the type column for now is to count how many new, how many used. I hope that makes sense.